welcome back to my channel. You guys can tell by the title, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. Uh, you guys know I love books, I love reading, so I figured I would do a bookshelf tour. Just to show you guys what I have, what I've read, what I'm going to be reading very soon. Maybe I can inspire you guys to maybe read some of the stuff that I have, but also maybe give me some ideas as to what I can read because I am always looking for new books to read, new stories, new plot lines, new genres, whatever. I, I pretty much like everything that I read. Hope you guys like this video. Let's get started. Okay, so starting from the bottom, I have my Anne of Green Gables. These are the first three. I haven't read the last. I don't know how many there are, to be honest. I think there are maybe five. I read these when I was a kid, and I absolutely loved them. And I saw the 1980s movies that um, were based off of these, obviously. And I fell in love with those. And then over here, I have three story time type of Disney books. These are just actually... Um, just picture, Ugh, let me get one out. Just this princess one, for instance, shows all the different, like Sleeping Beauty, um, Little Mermaid, just different color and illustrations, I guess I should say. It's more of a um, kid type of books, but I have three of them. And there are the Classic Tales, Bedtimes, and the Princess ones, and I got those at Costco's. And I don't think they have them anymore, unfortunately. Maybe you can find them online? but I'm not really sure. Okay, so over here is more of my biography history type of section, I guess I should say. So over here is my Marilyn Monroe book. Um, this was actually the very first book that I had gotten of hers. Ooh, and it's really, really heavy. Um, yeah, it just has a bunch of information and all these different types of pictures. So it's, it's a really interesting type of heavy book. And then I have some Kennedy's historical type of books. I really like reading about the Kennedys. Then I have a Robert Redford bio autobiography. Uh, I always get those confused. Um, if you guys don't know who Robert Redford is, he was an actor back in the 60s, but he's more of a director and stuff like that, influencer. And it was interesting to read though that he actually was the one who created the Sundance Film Festival. And if you guys don't know what that is, the Sundance Film Festival is basically where they show all of these independent movies and to get them a little bit more exposure. And then after that, I have the book by Melissa, An Melissa? Melissa Anderson. She played the eldest daughter in Little House on the Prairie, Mary Ingalls. Um, if you guys haven't read Little House on the Prairie, I read those as a kid growing up. I actually. Oh my gosh, this is going to make me sound so old, I swear I'm not that old. But I actually played with the paper dolls. I don't know if you guys know what those were. They were literally paper dolls. And I read the books when I was also a little girl. Um, then I heard that there was a TV series that was you know, made in the 70s and 80s. And you know how you get when you hear about a book being turned into live action. And it's like, oh my gosh, you get to see all of these characters, all these favorite characters of yours live and being acted out. So... It was interesting to see the different versions between the book and the TV series. For instance, her character, Mary Ingalls, the eldest daughter, goes blind, both in the movies and the TV series, obviously, but in the books, as opposed to the series, she doesn't end up getting married in the books. I thought that was a stark contrast as to both the series and the books, but the Little House on the Prairie series are based on a true family by Laura Ingalls Wilder, and they're really, really interesting. They were just all about the pioneer days and stuff like that. And then I have the Dream Lovers stories of Bobby Darren and Sandra D. The Delusion of, <laughs> a Delusion of Satan. I know, such a great title. But this is actually about the Salem Witch Trials. I actually, last time I went to Boston, Salem, I didn't, I went on a Sunday, unfortunately. And that's like the worst thing you could do. Um, but I was able to go into one of the museums and I was able to, I, it's really interesting to hear and read about that kind of stuff. I'm really interested in reading. I actually got another book about the Salem Witch Trials, which I'm really excited to read about. So then moving on, I have The Great Gatsby and I had been looking for this cover for forever. I looked on eBay, Amazon and Barnes and Noble and they never had them. And if they did, they were like $50. But then I found that one on the one of those popular i can't remember off the top of my head um books book online book sites 
but I will link it down for like maybe 12 bucks I don't know I'm not really sure but it was less than 20 I know that then I have a Paul Newman autobiography biography oh my gosh um, who was also really big in the 60s he also became a pretty good director he actually worked with Robert Redford actually you can see them in the picture back here so that's they were really famous um, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid and then I have the lady in the tower which is a sort of fictional historical book about Anne Boleyn and it was really interesting the way that was written because it was written in a true story type of way but also mixed in with how we think when it might have happened to her and then I have the Death Comes to Pemberley which is the sequel to Pride and Prejudice that was more of a mystery type of book I enjoyed it then I have Poldark Demi Lovato's Dane Strong then I have Peter Pan over here and then I have Jane Irie I finally read this it was really really interesting and then I have Gone Girl matched I do plan on reading the next two I think there are two of them of these series and then I have Girl Online John Green The Fault in Our Stars Defiance and Magonia I think that's how you say it and then I have actually some records here I do have a record player um, just one of those portable ones um, I have two Lana Del Rey's, I have 30 Seconds to Mars, I have Smith, Sam Smith, I have Barbara Streisand, and then I have Johnny Cash and some Christmas albums. Okay, so in this next section, I have my fruits baskets. I will admit, these are the first mangas that I have ever read. This was, these were like years old though. I first got into them like, oh gosh, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight years ago. My brother bought them for me. And I, to be quite honest, I, every manga that I would read after this, I haven't read any for a really, really long time. I just couldn't, I would compare them to this one and they just couldn't live up to my expectations. So these ones are like my top hands down favorite ones after Second Moon. So, <laughs> then I have the Brothers Grimm Complete Fairy Tales and Jane Austen's Seven Novels. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this one at... Barnes and Noble and this one at Costco. Then over here I have the Lauren Conrad Beauty and then I have Keegan Allen's Life Love Beauty which is actually signed. Where is it? There it is. Yay! This is like legit sign. I was really really excited about that. I got it at Barnes and Noble. So then I have Reboot and Temptation, Temptation ugh, of Angels. Entwined, this is actually kind of a revised version of the 12 Swans, if I'm not mistaken. It's, it's something about the 12 sisters, you know, I've always seen those everywhere. Then I have the three Throne of Glass series. I am waiting for the paperback for the fourth one. I'm like, I, I have this weird thing where I have to, if I buy the first book in paperback, then I have to get the rest of the series in paperback. It's, it's just really weird of me. Then I had just have a panda. And then I have the three Maze Runner, the Maze Runner, Scorch Child, and Death Cure. Um, these three are Disney ones. I think I did a review on this one. First of all, look at the cover, which is really, really cool. The hag. And then this evil queen. So this one was a really cool read. If you are interested in like kind of a new type of version of how the queen became the way she became so this was really really i i personally enjoyed it then wit of wit and wisdom of disney then tiger lily then i have my breakfast at tiffany's greek myths the oz chronicles and hans christian Zin anderson that is kind of a mouthful to say and I'm pretty sure I got all of these at Barnes & Noble, if not um, Costco. Then right here is kind of, yeah. Um, these first four are part of the Hush Hush, Hush Hush, Crescendo, Silence, and Finale. Then these next three are Fallen, Torment, Passion. These are part of the um, Fallen series. These are kind of, sort of with the same premise about fallen a fallen angel and a girl falls in love with the fallen angel. So, I'm, but they're really, really interesting. They were really, really good. And then I have the first two um, Legend and Prodigy of the Champion series, which, what is it? I can't really remember. It doesn't say. Okay. Then over here I have Gypsy, which is actually a really pretty coffee table book, I guess you could say. Um, Gypsy, a world of color and interiors, and it does not lie about colors. Like, oh my gosh, this is a really, really, really pretty book. 
and just kind of inspirational like decor wise and it's really really pretty then I have Vivian Lee an intimate portrait then I have two Marilyn Monroe books then I have Leah Michelle then I have a Nightingale which I know I did a review on then the girl on the train which I think I did a review on then I have Rob Lowe's two books then I have the Boston girl which I also think I did a review on I will link all the ones that I think I did a review on in my description box then I have Audrey Hepburn, Judy Garland, um, Elizabeth Montgomery, who is well known for being in the Bewitched series back in the 60s. And yes, I watched that. I still do. I started watching it back when I was in Nick and Night, and they would show it. Then I have Wildflower by Drew Barrymore, which I just did a review on. And then, of course, Elizabeth Taylor cannot not read a biography about Elizabeth Taylor. And then over here I have some Tsum Tsums and then I have these little things. I haven't seen these in like forever. At least not in the Disney store. I don't know if they sell them at Disneyland or Disney World or anything like that. Then I have some soaps, random. And then I have this cute little fox purse that my brother got for me for Christmas. I haven't gotten to use it yet but I'm waiting for a special occasion. A weird special occasion. So this is more of the Woo, music box, nothing really here. Okay, so over here we got some more colorful stuff like my Pretty Little Liars series. I do plan on reading the rest of them. I have seen the TV series. I kept hearing that they were really, really different. And it is true, these are more dramatic than anything. Then I have my pens over there from my Hunger Games. Then I have the Little Women book that I finally got to reading. And I just love the cover it's so cute and then over here I have the goddess test which is also another Greek god inspired type of book and then I have the divergent series divergent insurgent allegiant and four then the good girl over here gotta move the camera then the good girl over here the red queen or red queen excuse me I did get the second one I'm really really excited to read that and then I have two art Disney books the art of tangled and the art of the Disney princess. If you guys have seen the inside of this, it's really, really, it's really interesting to see them design and drawn in different ways than what we're used to seeing them. And then obviously I have all my Funko Pops. I have my Once Upon a Time, Emma, Snow, and Hook. Then over here I have Rapunzel, Captain America, Jasmine, and Dean Winchester. And then right here, these aren't books actually. These are a mixture of my Polaroid camera, my pink one, and then I have some lipstick right here. Really, really random. I mean, it sometimes it just lights on fire. I mean, it's, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I have Huna's A Plus album, which I personally think is her best album to date. Then I have Sistar's Shake It album, the So You cover. You can tell my bias is in Sistar. And then I have some jewelry right here. And then right here I have some more Fungo Pops. And I have my um, Natalie Wood biography book that's my favorite biography book today I saw that they are releasing two new ones then I have the four a song of with a song of ice and fire I am currently reading the fifth one right now about about halfway through then I have the three hunger games book and then I obviously have all the Funko Pops of Game of Thrones I have a bunch of Daenerys and Sansa Sansa um Jon Snow then I have the Hunger Games ones, all of Katniss, and I have a Daenerys back there if you can see her. And then right here are the Covenant series. I highly suggest you guys read these. These are amazing. These are by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Like a great mixture of humor, of drama, of romance. There are so many movie references, TV references of my favorite TV series. Like it's, oh my gosh, I loved it. And then I have a French phrase book, which I'm about halfway done with. I haven't read it in a long time. Then I have Romeo and Juliet. This is my favorite edition. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I got it at Barnes & Noble, if you guys are interested. And then I have seven of these Iron Druid Chronicles. These are really, really cool also. Um, they basically follow about a guy who is a druid. And basically a druid is a... I guess the easiest way that I can explain is that he is a magical being who gets his power from the earth, if correct me if I'm wrong. So these are really great. These are more, com uh, not so much comical, but action comical. The main character is really, really witty, actually. So 
yeah i really enjoyed those books okay so up here i have all my k-pop albums not a lot of them i have sisters touch and move i have taeyeon's eye which is kind of hidden behind nicole's first romance and hyuna's a talk then i have vix's error fx's four walls got sevens mad and four minutes crazy then up there i just have some random portraits and sayings of walt disney so so that is going to be it for this bookshelf tour i hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe you guys got some ideas as to maybe some new books you guys may want to read and let me know if you guys have any books that you guys want me to read because i am always looking for some new books to read and you know my my wallet may not thank me but my brain does i mean obviously you got to work the brain to read so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching bye